U.S. astronauts have extended, it ended their 62-day-long mission to the International Space Station after they capsule safely perched parachuted into the Gulf of Mexico. The splashdown was also the first water landing by American astronauts in 45 years. Our Kim Jae-hee with more. Two American astronauts who flew to the International Space Station and SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule are now safely back on Earth, ending their historic two-month mission. The space capsule carrying Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley splashed down into the Gulf of Mexico on Sunday afternoon local time following a 21-hour journey after departing the ISS. It was also the first water landing by U.S. astronauts since the final Apollo moon mission 45 years ago, and an accomplishment no private company has ever achieved. The capsule started from orbital speed of 28,000 kilometers an hour, but slowed down to just 24 kilometers an hour at splashdown. After splashing down, the capsule was hoisted aboard a recovery ship with doctors and nurses, and the two astronauts flown ashore by helicopter after they had met with doctors. The mission is being hailed as a massive success. Today was a big day. It was a big day for our nation. It was a big day for for NASA, for human spaceflight, for SpaceX, and for our international partners. The successful end to the crew's mission clears the path for another SpaceX crew launch, possibly in the coming months, and maybe even Taurus flights from next year. The, the, the operations worked extremely well, so uh, we certainly feel comfortable that we're on the right path to carry commercial passengers um, not too long from now. President Trump also congratulated NASA and SpaceX on the astronauts' safe return, calling the mission very successful. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.